Hi and welcome. Now to the interesting part. When we submit login form, we either get error back with wrong credentials error, or we get JOT token. In this episode, let's implement both of these scenarios. So let's open editor, and let's go to server index file to add our new route. So we're gonna just copy this one and change users to, let's call it out, because we're making out request. And let's copy this one and change users to auth as well. Okay, so now let's create routes auth.js. And here we have just simple route. So we have router, we're making post request to root route, and we have request and response objects here. So first let's get data from request body. So we have constant and we deconstruct it with identifier and password from request body. Next, we query user, trying to find user by username or by email like we did before. So we'll have user query and we have where username equals to identifier or where email equals to identifier. And of course, we need to import user from models user. Okay, after that, we're going to fetch it and then we'll have our user. Okay, so now we need to check if we find user and if we find one, we need to check its password. So first, if we have user, then we do something here, we're gonna compare password. Else, we didn't find user with such identifier, so we need to respond with status 401 and we'll have JSON here with error subject and in this object, we'll have special field form, which we'll use to display global form errors, not the field specific errors. And we'll use it in valid credentials. Okay, so now if we found user, we need to compare passwords. And for that, we're gonna use bcrypt. So let's import bcrypt from bcrypt. And bcrypt has this compare sync function that we're gonna use here. So if bcrypt compare sync and we compare password that is given to us in request with user get password digest so if comparison returns true that means that we verify user identity and here we'll create json web token and we're gonna send it back in a moment but in other case we'll just respond with the same error status like we did here and we have two errors here, and we could be more specific. For example, here we can return error that tells that no such user with such identifier. And here we can notify that the password is incorrect. But I prefer not to from security point of view. So now that we have this error, let's render this error in our form. So let's open login form. And here in our form, right after login, we'll add check for errors form so if we have such an error then we're going to render div with class name equal to alert alert danger and inside of it we're going to render errors dot form let's save it and let's try it out so here in login i provide wrong email and when i try to log in i have this invalid credentials displayed to me and if i have correct email but wrong password i'm having the same thing Okay, cool. So we finished with the first scenario. So now let's handle valid credentials. So let's go back to our route. And here is where we handle valid credentials. So we need to generate JSON web token and return it to the client. So for that, we're going to use JSON web token package. So let's install it. So we install save JSON web token. Okay, cool. And now we can use it to create our token. So let's define constant token. And Jot library has this method sign and it takes two parameters. The first one is the payload, just an object that we can decode on the client. And in our case, we're gonna have very simple one. We'll have ID and we get it from user. And we'll have username. Also, we get it from user, of course. Just remember that this object can be encoded without any encryption, without any codes or secrets, etc. So it's basically public information. So you shouldn't include in this object any private information. 
So the second argument is the secret, some secret key that is going to be used for encryption and later it will be used to verify this token. And we're going to store it in config object dot secret like this. So let's import this config object from config.js and let's create one. We'll have config.js and that's going to export default simple object dot secret. And here's just some secret key for JSON web token. Very secure string here. So now that we have this token, we can respond with JSON with this token. And that should do it. Let's have a look. So here I'm in login page. And if I submit this form, I'm redirected back. And if I go to network to our request and have this preview tab, you can see the token right here. This is our JSON token that we're going to save on client and decode it and use it later in future episodes. So let's commit. We verify user credentials. So thanks for your time, and if you found this episode useful, please share it with your friends and subscribe to this YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter to get updates. Thanks for watching.